Good morning friends, welcome back to the airport. Now another typical day for me. I'm in Melbourne right now, heading to Sydney for meetings today and then flying back tonight. Very typical, you've seen me do it before on this channel many times. Oh, one slight small difference on this trip though. We're not flying with Qantas today. Welcome to Kilo Juliet November Airlines. Primary Tower, Kilo Juliet November, ready, 17 left, downwind departure via Harrow. Kilo Juliet November, cliff takeoff. Cliff takeoff, Kilo Juliet November. All power. Temperatures and pressures are good. 100% power, air speeds indicated. Going live. No many knots. Can't help the way that I'm feeling. When I'm with you, oh, would you give me some air? Try to be more aware of what I need. Kilo Juliet November passing 2000. Kilo Juliet November. Melbourne approach, Kilo Juliet November passing 3000. Kilo Juliet November passing 3000. Melbourne approach, Kilo Juliet November passing 3000. Kilo Juliet November approach, 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 Kilo Juliet Outside air temperature, 7 degrees. Yay! Oh my god, that's my, always my favourite moment is you think it's rubbish on the ground, the weather is horrible, there's rain on the runway, no one else is going out, and yet all you do is you get, well all you do, but when you get your instrument rating and you can tackle that as just a, an exercise in risk management, so having an alternative, having an option to get out if we need to, knowing that I'm going to come back into Moorabbin if I need to, but climbing up through that cloud layer, getting on top of it now, and then climbing up to 9,000 feet where it should be it would be quite nice and smooth, it's very smooth here on top. I'm just noting that actually, so 6,000 feet it's very smooth. Uh, if we need to come back down again. And hardly, well, tiny, tiny wind from the right hand side, but nothing else to worry about. No build-ups, which concurs with what we had on the forecast. And once you get on top, it's just beautiful up here. Alright, all now you need to do is sit back. Enjoy the ride. Unfortunately, unlike Qantas, I can't provide in-flight snacks. I'd like to thank you for choosing to fly Kilo Juliet November. Leveled off at 9,000 feet, leaving some of the cloud behind us as well now. This is still a little bit over to the right, but up ahead it's looking yeah, a lot clearer. Connect on a 125, day small two, they've got your request. But it's awesome being up here when you've got all the other aircraft. The aircraft that I normally fly on this route between Melbourne and Sydney and Sydney to Melbourne, I normally do it probably once or twice a month at least, sometimes more. It's really cool to hear all the Qantas, the Jetstar, the Virgin Jets just... Yeah, 10, uh, There's another one. We're looking for 320 and 290, Just chugging between Melbourne and Sydney. I've covered it on this channel before, but Melbourne to Sydney is the second busiest air route in the world in terms of... In terms of the number of movements. Velocity 8, 10, send by star, flight level 250. I've tried it to... I'll 8, 10, by star, flight level 250, velocity 10. I'm trying to get... Oh, I can't even do it. 270. Kilo, kilo November, contact center 125, decimal 2, have a good day, Steph. 1252, Kilo Juliet November, you too, mate, good day. Melbourne Centre, Kilo Juliet November, maintaining 9000. Kilo Juliet November, Melbourne Centre, uh, amended tracking when you're ready to copy. Go ahead, Kilo Juliet November. Kilo Juliet November, from Light Vu, track to Agva, that's Uniform Golf Victor Echo Romeo, that's Avbeg Quiet Plan Route, you can expect some improvement. I love air traffic control here so much. It's so nice hearing all the voices on the radio that um, people I've met when I've gone to air services here in Melbourne or visits that I've done in the past. I do say it a lot on this channel, but I want to reiterate it. Get to know air traffic control if you're a pilot. Uh, if you're interested in aviation, contact air, tra air services here in Australia at least and ask about going to one of their air services nights and finding out. They do really, really good information nights. 
for student pilots, if you're an existing pilot, if you've flown all your life and you've never talked to air traffic control, I really recommend you do it because not only does it put a human face on air services, but you can ask all those questions. Ask the silly questions that you think are silly questions anyway. I've asked so many questions that I thought, oh my God, they're going to think, how did this guy get his pilot's license? And for this flight, in fact, as well, two days ago, when I was sitting with Mike Walden, my instructor, we actually called air traffic control. We called air services and asked if the route that I planned into Sydney was the best one to go into Sydney from their point of view. Call them up, ask them. They're not going to say, oh my God, you idiot. Of course that's the right route. They're going to say yes or no, or help you with a better option. And also I asked about contingency. So what if the weather was no good? What do I do? And they told me, well, you can expect this. You might get this, but the most likely scenario is track to this waypoint instrument approach into Bankstown. I now am flying this flight knowing that I've prepared it, feeling like I've got a much better understanding of what to expect for my plan A and my plan B. And it just makes the whole exercise so much more relaxing. Now we just had a flight plan change from air traffic control actually. Uh, they've asked me to amend my flight plan slightly. Let me see if I can show you on here. Now these are the waypoints I had. I was going from Temis, Mutvu, A is Albury, the airport, Musop, and then Avbeg and then onwards. Uh, I just got a request, and I jotted it down here, so from Lutfu, instead of going Albury, I go to Agva, and then Agbeg, or Avbeg. So all I did was I put it into here, I've got now Lutfu, Agva, Avbeg instead, just put that into my flight plan. I did a quick check here on the moving map, just to make sure yeah, everything kind of looks right, so I was going from Lutfu to Albury, and then up. So it's just a slight deviation, it just keeps me out of the way of Albury Airport here. And that's just a key thing with your flying as well, and in life, in everyday life, but you've got to be prepared for things to change. And understanding your systems, understanding how all this works, is critical. You can't just know how it works when it works. You've got to know, well, how do I use this when I have to change something? Like, how, if I can't get into Bankstown today and I have to go to another airport, how do I plug that in there? But I really recommend, if you can, sit down with your instructor on the ground, get ground power on your aircraft, and go through scenarios. Just say, say to your instructor, say, fail my avionics, fail my comms, uh, give me a diversion. Knowing your aircraft and knowing your systems, I reckon is one of the key reasons why I truly believe that it's better to fly more in one aircraft and get to know that aircraft really well than it is to fly as many different types of aircraft as you can. You can resume your normal speed now, thanks. Regular viewers of this channel will know that I quite often travel with a co-pilot. Yes, everyone, Milkshake's back. Yes, who's back? Milkshake's back. I think it's important on the longer flights to have a bit of company, and because uh, I'm just traveling up to Sydney on my own today. Milkshake's doing a good job. She's not saying very much. I think it's quite an early start for her this morning. Ground speed's not too bad, 167 knots ground speed. Anyway, that's kind of, that's the sort of updates you give yourself when you're flying these long legs. My instructor, Steve, he always told me when you've got a moment, just go left to right, top to bottom, and just work your way through the aircraft. So I'm going across the instruments, airspeed, checking that's in, in its parameters, what it should be doing, altitude, we're on track, going across to the engine page, checking the engine page, then working my way down the central console, making sure everything looks right. Just looking and saying, is that in the position it should be in? And when you've done all that, take on some refreshments. And I just can't help the way I'm feeling. Can't help the rhythms. I just don't like the sound. Sydney Centre, Kilo Juliet November on descent, passing 7,700 for the 1-1 on AV into Bankstown. Hello, Joy November, Senna, good day. There's uh, no immediate traffic. Kilo Juliet November. All right, strap in everyone. You ready, Milkshake? All right, trusting my instruments. Road and level on the artificial horizon, same here. Rack is good. Heading to Raxo, we can activate the approach now as well, make things easier. Wow. Alright, so now we've got two miles to Camden, then we can descend back, or descend down to 3,700. Alright.
after passing Raxo, we can descend to 2,500. And I temporarily have ground contact. Ruxo to Whiskey India. So after passing Ruxo, we send to 2,500. 2,500. Okay. No traffic contact tower on 120.1 identification terminated. 120.1, Mr. Foxtrot. Just going to increase the rate of descent slightly now that I have the ground visual. Well, kind of, I had it, and <laughs> now it's gone. But uh, yeah, just because there's a few other aircraft around. Hello, Juliet, November, this is the radar traffic in your 2 o'clock at uh, 2 miles, 1,500 unverified. Looks to be tracking to the uh, southeast and away from you. Uh, we're in and out of clouds still, but looking. Kilo, Juliet, November. Hello, Juliet, November. Five miles until Whiskey India, then it's a right turn down to 1,400. No issues with the icing, outside air temperature is 10 degrees. I'll keep the Peter heat on though, just in case. So, Whiskey India, it'll be a right turn down to 1,400. Runways are 1-1, one, one, so that'll be straight in, which is nice. Brew another rain shower, good. Give Kilo Juliet November a bit of a wash before she turns up at Bankstown. Hello Juliet November, I've got no observed traffic between you and uh, Bankstown, just confirming remain clear of the class Delta airspace. Bankstown will issue the almost clearance, there will be an IFR departure off from 011 on the Bankstown 8. Contact tower now, 132 decimal 8, identification 7. Identification terminated, uh, 1328 and remain clear of Class D, Kilo, Juliet, November, thanks. Thanks, Santa. Kilo, Juliet, November is at uh, Whiskey India on the 11 Arnav, inbound, received echo, we're just at 2500 descending, 1400. Kilo, Juliet, uh, November, Bankstown, target A, confirm, are you visual? Uh, negative visual, Kilo, Juliet, November. Kilo, Juliet, November, Roger, report visual. Kilo, Juliet, November. Downwind full stop. Gotcha. Kilo Juliet November is visual. Kilo Juliet uh, November, join a final from a 11 one left and uh, your number two following a diamond on a short final. 11 uh, one one left and looking for traffic, Kilo Juliet November. Kilo Juliet November, runway left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway left, Kilo Juliet November. Oh, the service inbound, just the call sign again. Zero Kilo Hotel. Zero Kilo Hotel, I'll join final 1 1 left report at Warwick Farm. 1 1 left and Warwick Farm, Zero Kilo Hotel. Thanks, Sound Ground, Kilo Juliet November on Alpha 5, request taxi to Taxiway Juliet. Kilo Juliet November Ground, Taxi Juliet, good day. Taxi Juliet, Kilo Juliet November, good day. Oh, the old hood. <laughs> nice to be back. This is where I did my commercial pilot's license training and my aerobatics endorsement in that Zulu X-ray Yankee. Hello, old friend. No! Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I don't mind WSFM. I used to listen to it quite a lot actually when I was living in Sydney. Anyway, off to Sydney. Well, like the centre, we're in Sydney. Off to the centre of Sydney. Uh, just to give some context, the reason why I'm in Sydney is I've got meetings with one of the companies that I work with. There's an office based up here. Uh, it's actually in Roselle. Um, so I'm just driving from Bankstown Airport to Roselle. Google Maps has got me arriving there at 11.57. Meeting starts at 12. So far, my experience of flying myself to Sydney as opposed to coming on Qantas, uh, the Sydney part, almost identical, but the flying bit here, yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that bit. This bit sucks, let's be honest.
shut. I was going to get some lunch on the way back to the airport, but they're shut. Hmm. So, you know, everyone, everyone has their vice, like their fast food that they have. Mine's Subway. I just, I've always had this thing about Subway sandwiches. I just really like them. You know, some people walk past the Subway and you smell that smell and everyone's like, ugh, but I really like it. This is not sponsored by Subway, by the way. I'm just very hungry and could do with a sandwich. But if there's one thing you can be guaranteed of driving past when you're out in Western Sydney, it's fast food restaurants. So we'll find another one. Couldn't find a subway, so just got snacks. Okay, back to the plane. Car's dropped off then, that's all sorted out. I filled up, I filled up the tank with $6.31 worth of fuel. Because it's only a really short trip from where I was here in Bankstown to where I was doing my meetings this afternoon and back again, even though we spent most of the time just stuck in traffic. I'm actually gonna head back to Melbourne now so I can get back home tonight. Which is a bit of a shame, like it's great because I want to get home to Melbourne of course, but it's a bit of a shame because Bankstown Airport is my old training ground like I said earlier in this vlog. And so it would be nice to hang down here and maybe even see if I can take one of the Red Baron planes up, get a bit of an aerobatics refresher. Honestly it's such a buzz, it's great fun and for all you pilots out there, if you ever want to sharpen your skills up, adding an aerobatics rating to your your list of endorsements and ratings is actually a really good one to have just for things like even though it improves your landing to be honest as well as understanding things like stalling and spinning a lot better still got the sandbags down here from all the bad rain that Sydney's had over the last couple of days just to stop it going up into this building this is actually quite a relevant building this used to be used to be called Sydney Aviation College and this room in here behind this window this room is actually where I did my very first, my basic aeronautics knowledge exam. The very first flying exam I did was in that room there. And now they have Cirrus in there, which is kind of fitting. Hey, mate. Hey. So it's, yeah, should be a lot nicer heading home than it was coming out this morning, that's for sure. <laughs> Calculate, calculate November, passing 2000, runway center, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway center, kilo, Julian, November. Full power. RPM's good. Air speed to live, 70 knots. Traffic, traffic, 11 o'clock, high, less than a mile. Traffic, traffic, one o'clock, high, less than a mile. Got him, got him. Traffic, traffic, 12 o'clock, low, less than a mile. Kilo G, November passing 2000. Kilo G, November, project on departures 108, decimal 4. 108, decimal 4, Kilo G, November. Sydney departures, Kilo G, November passing 2600, climbing 3000. Kilo G, November, thank you. Julian November, track direct to Cordo, climb to 4,000. Direct Cordo, 4,000, Kilo Julian November. Kilo Julian November, contact departures 129 at 847. 1297, Kilo Julian November. Sydney departures, Kilo Julian November, maintaining 4,000. Kilo Julian November, 5,000. Climb 5,000, Kilo Juliet November. Kilo Juliet November, climb to 7,000. Climb 7,000, Kilo Juliet November. All right, levelling off at 7,000. We're almost out of Sydney now. We'll be handed over shortly. But I'm very conscious I'm running out of batteries and memory cards on the GoPro, so they might go pretty soon. And also, I think I just want to kind of sit back and fly this flight. It's been quite a long day and I want to focus on the flight on the way home. But thank you as always for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed this flight to Sydney and halfway back to Melbourne. But if you enjoyed the flight, give us a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you love your aviation and travel vlogs, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Kilo Juliet November, climb to 10,000. Climb 10,000, Kilo Juliet November. Hey.